not long ago, now this is the truth, what I'm telling you with my hand up. Not long ago, we was out in Oklahoma at the, at the Ebenezer Free Will Baptist Church all day singing and dinner on the ground homecoming. And, and, we, and, and singing on the program that day was a blind family. Now then, if I, if I told you who they was, some of you'd know them because they sing in churches all around the country. And, and they're singing on the program. And that church is so full, you couldn't put another human being in it. I mean, they had them standing, lined up around the walls. And, and, and them blind folks, this group of blind folks got up on the, on the pulpit to sing. And, and, and there's one little aisle right down the center. They even had chairs out. And then there's one little aisle right straight across in front of the pulpit. And that was all. And they got up there on the pulpit to sing. And when they got up there, they realized there wasn't enough room up there for them three big old German police seeing eye dogs they had with them. <laughs> and they, they, they didn't know what to do with them. So, so this feller that was in charge of them just laid them all three right down there in front of the pulpit. And the preacher got a little bit worried about it. And he went over to the fella in charge of those blind folks. And he said, brother, he said, will them dogs be all right down there? That man said, let me tell you something about them dogs. He said, he said, don't worry about them dogs. He said, them dogs are highly trained. He said, them dogs will lay right there till I tell them to move, no matter what happens. He said, preacher, he said, he said what you preach to that crowd out there, they may forget. But them dogs don't forget. Them dogs will be right there. Them dogs will lay right there and starve to death if I didn't tell them to move. Preacher said, all right, I ain't going to worry about them. He said, don't you worry about them. So it was all jammed and crowded in there. You couldn't move. And, and, and when them folks got up and started singing, that, and boy, they sang them kind of songs that'll tear your heart out. That crowd was all caught up in it. Didn't nobody even notice when that big old yeller cat <laughs> come walking down the center aisle of that church. Didn't nobody even see it, except them three big old German police dogs. You know what they done? They forgot. <laughs> you would have thought, you would have thought that old cat would have turned around and shot right back out that front door, but it didn't. Shot right out under them benches over on this side, right over here. <laughs> you would have also thought whenever you went in that church that there wasn't room under them benches for them three big old German police dogs, but there was. <laughs> I mean, they just disappeared from where they was and pandemonium set in. <clears throat> Let me tell you something. When you're sitting in church and you all caught up and these blind folks up there singing them songs like they sing them, the last thing in this world you expect is a foreign object on your legs. <laughs> when you get old yellow cat up one of them, German police dog up there that make you do things you didn't have no idea you could do. I mean, they was flat footing from the sitting position, and that ain't easy. They was walking them bitches. It was one of them look out, Sadie, ain't no door there he is now situations. I mean, you could tell everywhere everything went under there by the way there's exploding up out of the seats. And, 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 and they just absolutely wrecked that side of the church. And they was trying to come forward. They was trying to go backwards. Preacher didn't know what happened. He ain't even seen them leave. While they started attacking him, he flat-footed that pulpit. Geraldine flat-footed him. <laughs> That little old choir loft, that little old choir loft back behind us had room for about 20 people. Had 40 in it and 40 on the way. <laughs> now, now, the crowd, the crowd over on this side of the church didn't have no idea what was going on over on this side. They thought an old-fashioned shouting revival done broke out. <laughs> Honey, 
they come up out of their seat shouting just about as loud as this crowd was. The only difference was they are shouting glory, hallelujah, and this bunch is shouting, Lord, help me, Jesus. Back over on this side, 14 people wound up in the altar. Two deacons and a Sunday school teacher got saved. And all the time, all the time, that old yellow cat was over here still clawing for its life. My wife said, I'll bet there's some runs in some pantyhose. I said, honey, there's some of them running out of the pantyhose that time. blind folks was up there singing. They didn't have no idea what was going on. The only thing they th was thinking about was they done took that job too cheap. <laughs> Any of you preachers out there that's got a, got a church that's dying right before your eyes, let me tell you what to do. <laughs> Get yourself an old yellow cat, three German police dogs, you may not get nobody saved, but you'll scare the devil out of the crowds. You got, I guess.